Hey friends, it's Joshua with Into Food, and today I'm gonna to show you a really cool product called Dip. The one I'm using is banana flavored, and you can use it many different ways. It's kind of like a cross between ganache and coating chocolate. So I've got a neutral mousse base here. I will put this recipe below. I'm gonna measure out about eight ounces of the dip, melt it slightly, and add it to my mousse. Whip it up just like the instructions say, and now we got banana mousse. So let's make a banana cake. I have banana cake here. I will put this recipe below as well. It's an eight inch and I'm just trimming the tops to get the domes off and then we're gonna fill it with our banana mousse. Once our cake is filled, I'll put it in the fridge to firm up and now we're gonna make buttercream. This is so cool. You just melt it down and whip it for about five minutes and literally you have buttercream. How cool is that? So we'll do our crumb coat here. This is a coat just to hold the crumbs in. You probably will be able to see cake through it. It's not a big deal. Uh, like I said, we'll put it back in the fridge and this will trap all of our crumbs for our final coat, which will be thicker and much more smooth. So back to the cooler. Once it's completely cold, we'll put on our final coat. Once the final coat is done, I'm gonna do a reverse drip. So I'm pouring some of my melted banana dip into a bottle. Keep in mind that my cake is super duper cold. Put some parchment down, aboard, flip it over. I know it's a little scary, but it works. So now we're gonna take it and drip it from the top, which is actually the bottom. And we'll put that back in the cooler. So I'm gonna make a striped bag here. I put a little bit of gel color in yellow, a little bit of our banana, dip buttercream and then some white buttercream that I made before. That way we get this cool ombre sort of look. So I'm gonna squeeze it down and test it. That looks awesome. Flip my cake over, put it on sort of a final presentation board. I'm gonna put some texture on top with just some of the leftover melted dip and then I'm gonna do six dollops in my buttercream striped bag. So to finish the cake, I'm taking some macarons and I'm dipping them in the dip and putting them in sprinkles, let that set, and then we'll add them in between each of our dollops. And then I'll finish with some large gold crispies and of course, a little bit more gold. Uh, this is a gold flake from a company called uh, Chef Rubber. Sprinkle that on and then we'll put it on a cake stand and finish the bottom with some sprinkles. That's it, if you want any more information, everything is below, plus the recipes. Thanks for watching.